हेलो फ्रेंड दिस इज बिनर फ्रॉम आई इंटरव्यू माय टुडे वीडियो टॉपिक इज सॉलिड प्रिंसिपल्स इन स्विफ्ट सो फ्रेंड दिस इज वेरी मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन स्विफ्ट आस्क इन आई वेज इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सो फ्रेंड मूविंग ऑन द वीडियो द वंस हु आर क्रेजी इनफ टू थिंक दैट दे कैन चेंज द वर्ल्ड आर द वंस हु टू दिस इज कोड बाई स्टीव जॉब्स The topics we will cover on this video are what are solid principles, single responsibility principle, SRP, open closed principles, OCP, LISCOP substitution principle, LSP, interface segregation principle, ISP, dependency inversion principle, DIP, and conclusion. So, friends, solid is a set of principles that can help you write maintainable, scalable, and testable code. Solid. stand for single responsibility principle srp open closed principles ocp lisscope substitution principle lsp interface segregation principle isp and dependency inversion principle dip in this video we will take a look at each of these principles and show you how to implement them in swift so friends moving on single responsibility principle srp The single responsibility principle (SRP) states that a class should have only one reason to change. In other words, a class should have only one responsibility. Let's take a look at an example. Suppose we have a user class that has both authentication and data retrieval responsibilities. Class user func authenticate, and other func get user data, return user data. so when this violates the srp because the user class has two responsibilities authentication and data retrieval to fix this we can create two new classes authenticator and user data retriever and move the responsibilities to these new classes class authenticator func authenticate and class user data retriever func get user data return user data now the user class only needs to use these new classes to fulfill its respons responsibilities class user let authenticator equal to authenticate authenticator class and let user data retriever equal to equal to user data retriever func authenticate authenticator dot authenticate and func get user data return user data return user data retriever dot get user data so friends we can see we have created two instance of authenticator and user data retriever class and use them with this function now friends moving on open closed principle ocp the open closed principle ocp states that a class should be open for extension but closed for modification in other words you should be able to add new functionality to a class without modifying its existing code let's take a look at an example suppose we have a product class that has a calculate price method that calculates the price of a product class product var price double equal to 0.0 func calculate price now suppose we want to add a discount feature to the product class we could modify the existing calculate price method to include the discount calculation but this violates the ocp because we are modifying the existing code to fix this we can create a new discount class and pass it to the product class protocol discount func calculate discounted price original price double return double class product val price double 0.0 func calculate price discount pass discount return double let discount let original price Equal to price. Let discounted price equal to discount dot calculate discounted price original price plus original price and return discounted price. Class percentage discount plus discount. Let percentage 
डबल इन इट परसेंटेज डबल सेल्फ डॉट परसेंटेज इक्वल टू परसेंटेज फंक कैलकुलेटेड कैलकुलेट डिस्काउंट प्राइस ओरिजिनल प्राइस डबल रिटर्न डबल लेट डिस्काउंटेड प्राइस इक्वल टू ओरिजिनल प्राइस माइनस ओरिजिनल प्राइस इन टू परसेंटेज बाई हंड्रेड एंड रिटर्न डिस्काउंटेड प्राइस सो फ्रेंड्स वी यूज दिस मैथड हेयर now we can pass an instance of the percentage discount class to the calculate price method of the product class to get the discount price let product equal to product product dot price equal to 100 let discount equal to percentage discount percentage 20.0 let discounted price is equal to product dot dis calculate price discount डिस्काउंट प्रिंट डिस्काउंटेड प्राइस आउटपुट एट्टी पॉइंट जीरो नाउ फ्रेंड्स लिस्कोप सब्सटीट्यूशन प्रिंसिपल एल एस पी द लिस्कोप सब्सटीट्यूशन प्रिंसिपल एल एस पी स्टेट दैट ए डिराइव क्लास शुड बी सब्सटीट्यूटेबल फॉर इट्स बेस क्लास विदाउट अफेक्टिंग द करेक्टनेस ऑफ द प्रोग्राम इन अदर वर्ड्स इफ यू हैव ए रेफरेंस टू ए बेस क्लास you should be able to substitute a derived class without breaking the program let's take a look at an example suppose we have a rectangle class that has width and height properties and a calculate area method class rectangle var width double var height double in it width double height double self dot width equal to width self dot height equal to height Func calculate area return double return width into height. Now now we suppose we want to add a square class that is a special case of the rectangle class where the width and height are always the same. We can create a square class that inherits from the rectangle class and override the width and height properties. to always be the same class square rectangle override var width double did said height equal to width override var height double did said width equal to height in it side double super dot in it width side height side now we can create an instance of the square class and pass it to a method that expects a rectangle object func print area rectangle pass rectangle let area equal to rectangle dot calculate area print area area let square equal to square side 10.0 print area rectangle square this works because the square class is substitutable for the rectangle class without affecting the correctness of the program so friends now moving on next interface segregation principle isp the interface segregation principle isp states that a class should not be forced to depend on methods it does not use in other words you should separate large interfaces into smaller and more specific ones let's take a look at an example suppose we have a printer protocol that has a printer method protocol printer func print now suppose we want to create a scanner printer class that implements both scanner and printer functionality we could implement the print method for the scanner printer class but this violates the isp because the scanner printer class should not be forced to depend on the print method to fix this we can create two new protocol scanner and printer and make the scanner printer class conform to both protocols protocol scanner func scan protocol printer func print class scanner printer scanner printer func scan func print now the scanner printer class only depends on the methods it uses and not on the methods it doesn't use 
now moving on next dependency inversion principle dip the dependency inversion principle dip states that high level modules should not depend on low level modules instead they should both depend on abstractions in other words you should depend on interfaces not implementations let's take a look at an example suppose we have a data fetcher class that retrieves data from a remote server protocol data fetching func fetch data from url url return data class data fetcher data fetching func fetch data from url url return data class data manager let data fetcher data fetching init data fetcher data fetching self dot data fetcher equal to data fetcher func get data return data let url equal to url string https example dot com data dot json let data equal to data fetcher dot fetch data from url return data let data fetcher equal to data fetcher let data manager equal to data manager data fetcher pass data fetcher let data equal to data manager dot get data now suppose we have a data manager class that uses the data fetcher class to retrieve data class data manager let data fetcher equal to data fetcher func get data return data let url equal to url string let data equal to data fetcher dot fetch data from url return data this violates the dip because the data manager class depends on the data fetcher class which is a low level module to fix this we can create a new protocol data fetching that is that the data fetcher class can confirm to protocol data fetching func fetch data from url url return data class data fetcher data fetching protocol func fetch data from url url return data now we can modify the data manager class to depend on the data fetching protocol instead of the data fetcher class class data manager let data fetcher data fetching init data fetcher data fetching self dot data fetcher equal to data fetcher func get data return data let url equal to url string let data equal to data fetcher dot fetch data from url return data now we can create a new instance of the data fetcher class and pass it to the data manager class let data fetcher equal to data fetcher let data manager equal to data manager data fetcher pass data fetcher this works because the data manager class depends on the data fetching protocol not on the data fetcher class so friend now moving on the conclusion in this video we covered the five solid principles and showed you how to implement them in swift by following these principles you can write maintainable scalable and testable code that can be easily extended and modified remember that these principles are not rules but rather guidelines and should be applied based on your specific needs and requirement so friends thank you for watching this video please comment below if you want download link for this ppt so i will provide it on description box so friends thank you for watching and also please like share and subscribe my channel for getting such informative videos related ios interview thank you